Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. President Donald Trump said Saturday that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has a one-time shot to show he's serious about a nuclear disarmament deal. I feel that Kim Jong-un wants to do something great for his people and he has that opportunity, Trump said at a press conference just before he departed a G7 summit in Charlevoix, Canada, for his historic Tuesday rendezvous with Kim in Singapore. He won't have that opportunity again. Trump's carrot-hand-stick rhetoric on North Korea matched his message for the G7 on trade. After a week in which he exchanged pointed barbs with some leaders of other G7 nations Canada, the UK, France, Italy, Japan, and Germany Trump said Saturday that he is confident he can get them to rectify trade imbalances he believes are harmful to American workers. We're going to fix that situation, he said. And if it's not fixed, we're not going to deal with these countries. In particular, Trump said he expects that he will either be able to convince Canada and Mexico to significantly reshape the North American Free Trade Agreement or that he will create new trade deals with each country separately. But for all Trump's sunny talk about his relationships with G7 leaders he rated them a 10 he left Canada without having announced a joint agreement on economic or national security issues. It was not clear when he departed whether the US might be party to such a communique from the G7 after he left or if the other countries might endorse a message without the US. What was evident, however, is that Trump had shaken a long-standing alliance. U.S. allies are not happy about being slapped with tariffs, and several of the countries were dumbstruck by Trump's Friday call for Russia to rejoin the League of Economically Powerful Nations after being expelled for annexing Crimea in 2014.